New at noon, a warning to parents from public health leaders about the dangers of vaping. We've been talking about this for a long time. And in a recent news conference this morning, Mecklenburg County's public health director says that the nation is facing a public health crisis when it comes to e-cigarettes and parents need to make sure that your kids are not vaping. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner is joining us live from the health department. I know, Brandon, you were there and we've heard about the dozens of hospitalizations. Do we know about any happening in the Charlotte area? Well, right, so right now it's only two cases, but really the concerns that public health have is that the number of cases are continuing to increasingly rise quickly, as well as they don't know the exact cause when it comes to these vaping incidents. What they do know, there are hundreds of cases where people have been hospitalized for similar symptoms and all of them vaped. Mecklenburg County is part of the CDC's multi-state investigation into the role vaping plays in these hospitalizations. Gibby Harris says the mystery of vaping is scary as they don't yet fully understand its effects. It's why she's pushing for people to stop vaping. Youth and young adults should not use these products. Period. End of discussion. Pregnant women should not use these products. That nicotine that they are that's absorbed into their system while they're pregnant could very negatively impact their child. And the county says it will start regularly posting and updating numbers when it comes to vaping within the county online. We'll also have links online at WCNC.com for the county's resources when it comes to quitting vaping. Reporting live, I'm Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte.